After sailing down to the island of Fogo from Mindelo, we were super excited about what we were going to find. We knew that there was a volcano there, we knew that it was active, but we didn't really know much more than that. Whilst in Mindelo, we picked up two new members of crew, welcoming aboard Roshan and Nick. We spent our first night a little further up the coast, but in the morning, we moved and anchored in a sheltered bay just south of Sao Felipe. I carried a watermelon? <laughs> oh, the, uh, it's got sand in it, so the motor's getting gritty. Back to the tender, got a face to surf. Come on, Joe, you like getting wet? <laughs> Wearing socks. Thank you for looking after our tender. Obrigado. Alright. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Nothing like a refreshing coffee at 35 degrees, walking up the hill. <laughs> right, you guys can't see, it's just there, behind that grey building, is a 2,700 kilometre high volcano. We are going to climb. Hey guys, so we arrived on the island of Fogo, and today we are going to head up to its highest peak, there are two volcanoes on this island, Fogo, um, and we're going to go up to the highest one and then sled down to the to the smaller one. And the smaller one erupted only five years ago, so could be a bit warm still, a bit tepid. We'll see how it goes. What's the small one in the middle called? Pico... Pico de Fogo. Pico de Fogo. The mini volcano inside the crater. Is slightly off the beaten track and uh, left the other guys uh, going up the main one so you get to see what they're doing. Uh, I've just stumbled across this little uh, cove in itself with, if I can just turn this around a second, 
there's some sort of cave down at the bottom. Now I'm not quite Indiana Jones, but I want to see if I can find some treasure. So, I'm not sure if this is going to be picked up or not, but we'd love to have been hiking and taking videos, but it's bloody hard. It's really, it's really quite hot, steep, so uh, we'll just intermittently show you through some of these. There's a volcano, 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 and the whole thing is one massive volcano. Give me a second. Oh. We made it. We made it. And the others are on their way. They've got a little while to go. <laughs> if you can see them. <laughs> oh, it smells very eggy. Very eggy. Like a volcano should. <sighs> Yay! The others are on their way. <sighs> that was a hard hike. But guys, they made it! Yeah! Made it! Unfortunately, <laughs> we lost one. Oh. Somewhere in the abyss. Somewhere <laughs> down there. <laughs> But it's a very long, long, long soul, way down. With Scott's soul, he took Scott's soul down. <laughs> but we all made it. Look at it. Look at all of the names. After hours of hiking and climbing, we'd finally made it to the peak, 2,829 metres above sea level, making it not only the highest peak in Cape Verde, but the highest point anywhere in West Africa. Pico de Fogo most recently erupted for 77 days from the 23rd of November 2014 until the 8th of February 2015. Although the surrounding residents had all been evacuated, up to three quarters of all of the houses in the region of Chadas Calderas had been buried by the deep lava flows. The east side of the island of Fogo, that you can see here, collapsed into the ocean 73,000 years ago and created a 170 metre high tsunami that crashed into the nearby island of Santiago. Whilst it was great to have reached the summit, it had taken way longer than we thought, so it was time to start heading back. Look. Stop! 
Yeah, that just crunched my knuckle. Once we had made it through the steep, dangerous slopes at the top of the volcano, it was way more fun to just slide down the screed slopes of the lower part. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Try and beat him. We raced down the volcano as fast as we could. We were already late for our taxi driver who was waiting at the bottom and we really didn't want to be stranded on the side of this volcano overnight. Joe walking down the lava flow to get home. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Walking down a lava flow, Alice? Yep, feeling like a dream. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dusty. Dusty. dusty shoes dusty. full of, uh, shoes full of enough grit. For sh I could do with some more, actually. Ooh, Someone a little bit more grit would be great. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> huh? So apparently, you don't sled down, you uh, do that. <laughs> so it was good fun today uh, really looking forward to tomorrow I think we're going to Brava so we're going to have some good fun Bye, we're walking through the local dump again yep. to okay. get from Sao Felipe because we've moored and we're, we're at anchor outside Sao Felipe through the blackness and, and through the local tip for 20 minutes by the way mm, don't know. no point am I ever ever doing this if I didn't know where I was going. This... Joe, I thought you'd actually feel at home a little bit here. Why? Oh. Why? Because it stinks. <laughs> oh, wow. London's a bit of a tip, isn't it? Oh. No. <laughs> you leave my good city alone, sir.